The Open House is one of Netflix's latest original horror films written and directed by Matt Angel in his directorial debut. Logan is a teenager who moves with his mom into his aunt's big secluded mansion that they're trying to sell. They have to live there after tragedy strikes their family and they're left with no means to support themselves. Of course, this is a big spooky house and since people are going to be coming in and out during the day, who's to say if anyone stayed? It's a decent premise, it's shot pretty well, but the story is just not there. This film isn't very good because it fails to do what this type of film is supposed to do on almost every single level. That might sound harsh, but the reason I'm being so critical is because it actually starts off with promise. There's a really emotional opening scene uh, where we see the relationship he has with his parents. There's a lot of unresolved tension between him and his mom, uh, his parents have tension with each other, and we want to learn and we want to know more about their family dynamic. Once the father is out of the picture, we actually have a pretty realistic portrayal of how this young teenager deals with his absence. He's withdrawn, but he's not overtly lashing out, and uh, it's pretty engaging. I, I want to see how this kid grows, but it doesn't really go anywhere. He doesn't grow. This movie doesn't really have anything to say, and that's one of its biggest issues. You can't have a whole movie that revolves around a mother and son. You can't have a whole movie that revolves around a mother and son not getting along and then have nothing to say. They do argue and there is some tension, but it's very little and it's kind of just not enough. This movie never pays anything off. We're given this really good setup, we're given this family drama, but nothing is answered and it's so frustrating. When this movie ended, I honestly felt cheated. I felt like I was given half of a movie. Now, this movie isn't supposed to be a drama. It's supposed to be a horror thriller or a stocky, stocking film. But if I were to view it as a classic horror, it fails even harder because this movie is simply not scary. We know that someone is messing with them, but this scary person, evil guy, is barely even there. And the things he's doing are so minor. It's just... It's not scary. This is probably one of my shortest reviews, but that's because just not much happens in this film. The writer-director, Matt Angel, he's actually an actor, and he has a small cameo as a police officer, which makes me think of uh, M. Night Shyamalan and his cameos, and uh, not the good ones. Again, this is his uh, writing and directorial debut, and unfortunately, I think it shows. I think he does have a good eye, and some of the dialogue is decent, but this film is just so unsatisfying and feels unfinished. It's okay to leave the viewers with some questions, but all of the plot points I actually cared about in this film, they were just never adequately explored, and it's so frustrating. I give this film a D minus. It's super bleak, and it just didn't work for me at all. If you want to check it out, it's available to watch right now on Netflix, but I wouldn't recommend this film. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next time.